Hello, I'm Hannah Sowell. I'm an English literature teacher from Norfolk, England, and I'm teaching in Mason, Ohio. I would say definitely my favourite part is all the people that I've met. I've made some really good friends, um, I've met some really interesting students, some real high flyers, and some interesting characters as well, as always. So I'm from Hungary, and I teach at Wheaton High School in Silver Spring, Maryland, uh, Washington, D.C., and I'm teaching ESOL, English as a Second Language, third and fourth level. Well, I've gotten a lot out of this exchange. The start was pretty difficult, but I just encourage everybody to do this because you learn so much from the whole program. And as far as highlights, um, I became a lot better teacher. I became a lot more patient teacher. And I became a lot more confident about uh, teaching and that it's, it's possible to teach almost anywhere. Carolina Rivera. All right, well, I'm from Mexico City, and I have applied twice to the Fulbright. First, in 98, I went to Pelham, New York. I taught there in Spanish, uh, AP Spanish, and uh, Level 2 Spanish. And then I applied again, and in 2004, I went to Tallahassee, and I taught there AP Spanish, IB Spanish, and Level 2 and 3. I learned that you really have to go for it. Don't to be afraid of doing things. You know, that, that's the first highlight that I learned. And uh, the second one is that students are the same everywhere. The thing is that you just have to adapt to the needs of the kids. Maria de Los Angeles Escobar Gonzalez. I come from Mexico City and I'm teaching Spanish in Fairfield High. I think that the most important is that you learn about yourself, about your country. But for me, the most important is what my daughter learned. She learned English, she learned another way of life, and now she wants to keep on learning languages. I'm with Greg Fay. I'm from uh, St. Gallen, Switzerland. That is in the German part of Switzerland. I am in Colorado, teaching in Colorado at Newton Middle School in Centennial. And I am teaching band and orchestra at 6th uh, through 8th grade. Well, first of all, they have to love teaching because that's what is it about. And then they have to be very open-minded because everything will be different. And they have to be ready to teach again as a first-year teacher. That's what people told us at the first meeting, and it's so true. You feel like, I mean, only experienced teachers can do this, but you will feel like the very first day of teaching because everything is new, and you have to be very flexible, and you have to like this flexibility. My name is Jill Graham. I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland, and I am teaching in Reston in Virginia. I'm going to actually use this phrase, I use it quite a lot, or my mum does anyway, and it's um, what's for you doesn't go by you. And I think if you're willing to take the risk and the chance, then if it's meant to happen, it will. But at the same time with that, you kind of need to be very flexible, very adaptable, and be prepared to just go out and give it your all.